Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new, my name is Claire. Um, this video is going to be an update for the Project Pen Roulette that I'm doing with my friend Amanda. Amanda is Amanda D here on YouTube and I'll link her channel down below. What we're doing is we have a selection of 50 categories um, and of those 50 we're doing 10 at a time and each time we finish an item we grab something from a different category and it's all random so we're using random.org to generate the numbers to see which item that we get. So last time I did finish a couple of things um, I finished the item that was for um, a body lotion and for something that I was saving um, that was all covered in my last update I'll link that down below um, but I did pick two new categories because I'd finished two things and I got a lip product and a MAC product. I have finished something else this time around and what it is is it's the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads and this was uh, just 28 pads in the pot and completely used that up and that will be in my empties um, which I'll probably film at some point today as well. Um, so this time around I'm going to pick another category but what I'll do is I'll go through the rest of the items first and we'll pack, pick the category at the end. Um, first thing I wanted to do was there are two items in my project which I am going to uh, sub out just because I feel like that they're not seasonally appropriate and I'd be better off panning something a little bit more that went with the seasons. So the first thing that I'm trading out was a liquid lipstick and for that I had this Gerard Cosmetics in Ballet Slipper. Um, it is a really really nice everyday pink but it is a kind of warm pink and um, there's just a swatch of it there so it is more for like spring and summer kind of a color um, and I managed to get to there on this so um, I got that by just leaving it for ages and then um, shining a light through it and that's where I am and um, so I will be trading it out and the, the reason I have two swatches is because I couldn't decide uh, but I decided to go with, um, this is another Gerard Cosmetics Hydromat, and this is in the shade Ecstasy. And it is this one here. This one is Cher. Um, they're very similar colours. This one's a bit warm, to, more warm tone. This one's a bit cooler tone. Um, so I'm going to go with this one, just because I think it will go better with the fall and winter seasons. So that's going to be my new liquid lipstick to pan in this project. And the next one I wanted to trade out, and for that I picked this, this is the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Obsessed. It just looks like that. Um, and again, this is a sort of spring-summer type pink, and I'm not going to get any use out of it now that the seasons have changed. So, that's going back in my collection as well. And the category for that, as I said, was a Holy Grail item. And the only thing that I could think of that wasn't already in a project, which I consider a Holy Grail item, is dry shampoo. So I picked the Batiste dry shampoo. This is in Sweetie. It's supposed to smell like candy, but it doesn't, not really. Um, but I do enjoy the scent of this one. Um, and I'm about halfway. So like all the other products, I just want to use this up. And then once this is used up, then we can roll in some more things. Um, okay, and some things that didn't, that are still in the project from last time that didn't get changed or anything like that. Um, I had a product typed up on YouTube and for that um, I picked the MAC Prep and, Pri Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. Um, as you can see this hasn't had much use this time round. Um, the line is literally just under the line from last time. Um, I'm really, really bad at remembering to use this. I need to leave this out before I do my makeup. And even then, sometimes when I do remember to leave it out before I do my makeup, I do my makeup and then I look at it and I go, oh yeah, I got that out for a reason. Um, so I'm hoping to use some more of this and hopefully get some good use next time. So that's my aim, is to see good use on this. Um, if I don't achieve anything next time round, that is what I want to achieve. Um, something that I'm scared to pan was in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which is just here. And I wanted to pan this eyeshadow, uh, this one here, the green one, in Bless Her Heart. And as you can see, I do have a really good dip now. Um, I had a little bit of a dip last time, but the dip seems to be a lot bigger this time round. 
So I'm really, really pleased with how that's going. I'm just going to keep digging away at it. Not digging, but you know what I mean. Um, and then there was the orange item, which was uh, my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Trick. And I've been using this as an eye base. I have been using this quite a lot. So let's see the progress we made on the thing. Um, so that is where I am now. So about the same progress as last time, let's be honest. Um, but hopefully we'll keep making progress and hopefully see this finished soon. Uh, let me just mark that on the paper before I forget. Um, so that's that one. And then the next item was a gift. And for that, I picked a lip colour from this L'Oreal Palace Paris... Uh, L'Oreal Paris Colour Riche La Palette Extravaganza for lips. And I picked this shade at the top here. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a really, really, really big dip in there. Like, it's right down in the corner. Um, so I reckon I could hit pan anytime soon and then I will consider this done even though it's just a pinprick of pan. Um, I have a lot of lip products in, in projects right now so as soon as this is hitting pan that's it I'm calling it done. And the next one then was something sweet scented and for that I went into the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly palette and I picked this shade in Jelly. Um, and to be honest I've not used this since the last update so you won't see any progress on that one. Um, I need to remember to use that item more, um, but right now it's the colours a little bit not what I'm feeling, so that's why I've not been using it. Um, and then the two items that I picked last time, I had a MAC product, and for that I picked this Trolls eyeshadow in Paradisco. And I don't know if you can see, but I have been wearing away at the troll there in the middle. Um, so I've got some good use on that one. Nowhere near hitting pan or any dips or anything like that, but you can see that I've been using it. And a lip product, and for that I picked this PS by Primark Lip Liner. Um, and this is doesn't have a shade because it's long gone. Um, and, oh, did you see that? I almost dropped it. I need to, like, what what is happening? Right, okay, that is where I am. So about the same progress as the eyeliner, to be honest, maybe a little bit less than that, um, but still it's progress nonetheless. I'm really glad to be getting some progress on my items, guys. It's really, really great. Um, I know to you it probably seems like, what's the point in panning because you're not finishing up anything or you very rarely finish up anything. But to me, it's like I get to use items that I wouldn't normally get to use because I've put them in a project and I want to see some progress on them. So like... Um, this eyeshadow it was just set in my collection. I wasn't using it because I was saving it for, I don't know, something. Um, again, with this, and well, we all know that this is, was in the project for, it uh, was in the item for something I'm saving. So all of this stuff would have been just sat not doing anything. And yeah, that's why I love project panning. It might not be to finish stuff, even though finishing stuff up is great, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I do it for the thrill of just using up stuff that was sitting in my collection not really doing a lot okay so i have random.org on my phone that you can't see because of glare um and i will bring the spreadsheet up on my computer in a second i'm just going to generate the number and i got the number 16 um and looking at the spreadsheet 16 is an eyeshadow of course it is this this project hates me i swear like I know Amanda's probably going to be watching this, and she's going to be laughing. And she's going to laugh so hard that she'll have little tears coming from the side of her eyes. That's how hard she'll be laughing. Because that's probably... Eyeshadows and lip products are all I have in projects right now. And to add another one, it's just ridiculous. Like, how many eyeshadows did I have in this project before? One, two, three. Three eyeshadows already in this project, and I'm about to add another one. It's ridiculous. This project hates me. Amanda, I'm never doing a roulette with you ever again, I swear. I should go and pick my eyeshadow. Okay, so the eyeshadow I'm going to go for is in the sleek Whimsical Wonderland, all the fun at the fair, um, and it is in the shade Teacups, and it is this one here. As you can see, I have massive pan on it right now, um, and you're probably thinking, hey, that's not fair. That's, like, almost finished. Well, do you know what? I already have enough eyeshadows in this project, so I'm going to do this one. Okay, and just, at least we will finish something. I say that, and I won't finish it, you watch. So 
So that's what I'm going to do. I deserve something easy. So I'm going to pick that eyeshadow there. And I want to finish that up completely. I just want it out of this palette. So that's everything for this update. Wish me luck, guys. Um, I think I really, really need it this time around because I have way too many things going on at once. Like in my other project, I have four eyeshadows. In this project, I now have four eyeshadows. And I have a pan that palette, which is just... Uh, don't even ask me what my pan that palette is doing right now because it's just not. It's just not. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. I will see you soon. Bye.